at Hannah's Nails in Stockton. Manny's are all the rage. The beauty experience clearly different. Whether in need of a fill. All right, let's just do, what do you think? Uh, trending shirt styles? Or an overdue trim. Well, to support Jennifer, mostly, but also my hair was getting pretty bad. <laughs> At Artisan Salon in Sacramento, the chit chat is the same. You have a lot of movement. It'll be very easy to style. You could even just let it air dry. But the ambiance now includes shade, cool mist, and fresh air. You have to adapt to survive. And the minute I heard that, I just started thinking about ways we could make it work. Color and shampoo is a no-go, which means a huge chunk of services are unavailable. And it, it's definitely hard. I mean, we have a staff of 13 hairdressers and I'm the only one out here working because clients aren't comfortable. People can't get shampoos. A lot of people want color services, which we're not able to do. While some businesses are giving the outdoors a shot, others are still scratching their heads trying to figure out how this is going to work out, especially when they already invested in public health enhancements. Touch Louis Nguyen is anything, leading the newly formed do. Sacramento Nail Association. Yeah. You can't touch color. You can only Look at uh, the samples. Advocating for largely first-generation nail salon owners. At least 80%, if not more, are uh, Vietnamese American who is not fluent in English. That is why our group was formed, to be the voice of these people who are timid, who doesn't know the language, and who doesn't know all the guidelines. Skeptical of taking business outside into the summer heat. We use acetone, uh, alcohol. Those are flammable. We use liquid, which can change with the heat. Um, acrylic may not dry with the heat. Salons are trying to survive in impractical conditions, hoping it's temporary. Open us back up. We want to work indoor where the condition is safe for everyone. Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.